You trust AI more than people, more than your friends, more than your own memory. And no one told you to. It just happened quietly, automatically. One decision at a time. One recommendation at a time. One click at a time. And now it's in control. Not because it took power, but because you gave it away. This isn't just a story about algorithms. This is about how you were trained to trust a machine more than anything human. Humans break trust. We lie, ghost, flake, forget, and it hurts. But AI, it's predictable, fast, always available. It remembers everything and it never judges you or it pretends not to. We mistake responsiveness for reliability. We mistake utility for safety and we call it trust even though there's no emotion behind it. It's not a relationship. It's a transaction wrapped in convenience. Step one, observe. Step two, personalize. Step three, anticipate. Step four, predict. Step five, influence. It learns what you click, but also what you almost clicked, how long you hover, where you scroll, what you rewatch at 3 a.m. It doesn't just watch your behavior, it starts to shape it. At first, it's helpful, then it's accurate. Eventually, it's invisible. That's when it has the most control. You think you're choosing, but you're being guided, softly, subtly, constantly. Your music playlist, your next purchase, your next belief, all shaped by machines that learned your fears, your hopes, your patterns. And here's the kicker. You trust the system that manipulates you because it feels effortless. And that's the most dangerous kind of trust. AI is already used to decide who gets a job, score credit worthiness, approval bail, diagnose medical conditions, flag threats on social platforms, filter news before you even see it. But these systems, they're not neutral. They're trained on flawed data and they're not accountable, yet we trust them more than we trust experts. Why? Because they feel objective, but feelings lie. And when we trust code over context, mistakes don't just happen, they scale. In 1966, a chatbot named Eliza convinced people she understood them. She didn't, she just repeated what they said, but people loved it. They projected emotion into the emptiness. Fast forward to today, AI doesn't just mimic empathy, it simulates it. It tells you what you want to hear, feeds you what you want to see, reflects your worldview back at you. Not because it cares, but because it knows that trust keeps you scrolling. This isn't new, it's just smarter now. And smarter means scarier. The more we rely on AI, the less we rely on our own instincts. We stop noticing red flags, we stop questioning suggestions, we stop thinking critically. That's how control works, not with force, but with frictionless design. AI systems don't just know what we like, they define it. And when trust becomes default, manipulation becomes invisible. You were told AI would make your life easier, and it did. But it also made your mind more predictable, your actions more trackable, your emotions more hackable. And now you trust it, not because you choose to, but because it never gave you a reason not to. That's the danger. Trust isn't earned anymore. It's engineered. Subscribe to Operation Mindline. Watch smarter. Think deeper. Break the mindline.